Hello, good morning, my students. Welcome in my new classroom. It is my library and my home. You can see a lot of books. You can see my flowers. Oops, my flower need water. Okay, I have to help my flower. There you are. Uh, you know, my flower needs water. And we are in need also. We need a lot of prayer. We need a lot of prayer in this not easy time for all world. That's why I want to tell you about the Lord prayers. It is the most beautiful prayer because Jesus taught us this prayer. Do you remember one day one of Jesus' disciples said to him, Lord, will you teach us to pray? And Jesus said to them, when you pray, say, Our Father who art in heaven. We know this prayer very much, but if we are to pray as Jesus taught, we need to understand what he meant by the words he gave us. Our Father who art in heaven. Through these words, Jesus invited us to call God Father. Jesus called us to know God as our loving Father who watch over us and takes care of us. Hallowed be thy name. The word hallowed means holy. God is glorious. We want to glorify or honor God. Thy kingdom come. When we act with justice, with kindness, we show the God's kingdom to others. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We must strive to do what God, God asks of us. We have to listen to God. We have to try understand what God says to us and fulfill his will. Give us this day our daily bread. We pray asking only for what we need today. We trust that God will give us what we need tomorrow. We pray too for those who have less than we have. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. To trespass means to offend or to sin against. We ask God's forgiveness for what we have done wrong. We pray that God will forgive us as we too forgive others and lead us not into temptation we realize there is so much to tempt as to make bad choices we ask god to help us make a good choices but deliver us from evil we ask God to protect us from sin. Amen. By using this Hebrew word, 
we are saying this is true this is true i know we have a more time for prayer every day i ask you please pray every day with piety with your big love the prayer our father because this prayer can change us can change our heart uh, we remember very often we sang this song this prayer during the our religion class that's why can you sing with me this prayer now please our father prayer in the Holy Bible that's why I ask you please open the Bible first on the of course a New Testament open on gospel according to Luke chapter 11 and please read verse 1 2 for you can find the Lord prayers and then go to next gospel gospel according to Matthew of course New Testament Matthew chapter 6 chapter 6 chapter 6 and find verse 9 and 13 and please read this Lord prayer from the Matthew Luke and Matthew then please pray or sing before I am going to sleep this beautiful prayer our Father bye